Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Miss Taryn. Well today we are talking about all things related to the season that we're in right now. Who can tell me what season it is right now? That's right, it's fall or also known as autumn. So who knows what it means for it to be fall? So we just came out of summer where it was really hot, right? And the leaves on the trees were really green. Now, the leaves are starting to change color, yeah. And they are maybe red, maybe yellow or orange or brown. And they're starting to fall off of the trees. And it's also wet outside. Is it hot or cold? It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Some days it might be a little hot. Some days it might be a little cold but it's nice enough to wear a sweater, like what I'm wearing today, or you could still wear a t-shirt with a jacket. So also, when it's fall, that means you might go picking pumpkins, you might make apple pies, or have special kinds of desserts with your family, and you may get to dress up and go trick-or-treating at the end of the month. So, fall is really fun for lots of reasons. But today, before we get started, we're gonna sing a couple of songs that celebrate fall, and then we're gonna read a really fun, really silly book about fall, okay? So first of all, we're gonna say hello to our friends, everybody out there in Facebook. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, good job. All right, so next I'm gonna sing a song about the five little pumpkins. And you may have heard this before. We've done this song at some of our other story times as well. So I'm gonna do it twice so that you'll get the hang of it with me, okay? So we need to hang, hold out one of our hands, okay? And then we're gonna count, all right? Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. First one said, oh my, it's getting late. Second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. And then, woo, went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. All right, you got that one? Okay, let's do it again. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. First one said, oh my, it's getting light. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, I'm ready for some fun. Then whoo went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. All right, I hope that's one that you can do together with your family. It's pretty fun and it's cute and it's very much in the spirit of fall. All right, so now we're gonna read this book called Fall Mixed Up by Bob Rushka. So we're gonna read it and there are some weird things throughout this book, I'll just tell you. But at the end, we're gonna go back and then we're going to figure out all the things that are mixed up. So pay close attention as we're reading it because you're going to have to help me remember what was mixed up. All right, let's get to our first page here. Every September, every October, fall fills my senses with scenes to remember. So there's a couple weird things already, aren't there? Apples turn orange and pumpkins turn red. Leaves float up into the blue skies overhead. This is crazy. Bears gather nuts and geese hibernate. Never seen a bear climb a tree. Squirrels fly south in big figure eights. Have you ever seen a flying squirrel? Well, they don't fly like this. No way. 
Scarecrows stand guard over candy corn sprouts. You can see them real close. Milkweed pods open and monarch butterflies fly out. It's not where they come from, is it? Touchdowns are hit and home runs are kicked. That's silly. Kids leap in great heaping piles of sticks. Ouch. He doesn't look like it feels good, does it? <laughs> Cats cover hands and gloves cover ears. Look at that. It's a dog wearing gloves on his ears. Bonfires cool off our fronts and our rears. Goodness gracious, I don't know about that. There's a snowman right up to the fire. Warm apple syrup, baked maple seeds, and caramel pumpkins taste yummy indeed. Uh-oh. Have you ever eaten a pumpkin like that and put caramel on it? Nope. There's something else you would eat like that. Wolves say meow, and black cats say whoo. Horned owls howl at the full moon, saying whoo. None of that's right. Mummies go bats, and vampires ride brooms. Tightly wrapped witches escape from their tombs. The witches are hard to see, but they're tightly wrapped. I don't know about that. Neighbors give stuffing and drumsticks for treats. That doesn't sound right. This looks like trick-or-treating, right? Hmm. Families give thanks for a bounty of sweets. Now that's silly too, gosh. Can this be fall? Close, but not quite. Go back and find all the things that aren't right. All right, so this is the part where you have to help me. We've got to find all the things that are messed up in this book. The first, September. That's not a real month, right? It's September. That's the month we had last month. And now it's October, not October. All right, apples turn what color? Red, not orange. Pumpkins turn orange, yeah. And leaves, what do they do? They don't float up, right? They float down. All right, bears do not gather nuts. What do they do? They hibernate, okay? So who gathers nuts? Squirrels, right? And what about the geese? The geese fly south, not squirrels. That's pretty funny. This is one of my favorite pictures. It's just so silly. Scarecrows are watching candy corn sprouts. Nope, I think they're watching milkweed pods. So that's a kind of plant outside. And monarch butterflies don't come out of there. That's silly. Touchdowns are not hit. Because it's football, right? In football, you kick. All right, and then home runs are hit. That's right. And when you go outside and there are piles of something that's come off the trees, it's not sticks, right? What is it? Leaves. That's right. Hats cover what part of your body? Your head. Gloves cover your hands, right? They have those five little pieces to cover your, each finger. And bonfires are not cold, right? Bonfires are hot. Yeah. All right. Warm apple syrup. That's not real. Warm maple syrup. Mmm and baked apple seeds. And caramel pumpkins, that's not real. It's, it would be caramel apples, right? 
baked pumpkin seeds. Mm. Wolves, what do they say? Ooh, and they howl at the moon. Not owls. Owls say whoo. All right, and then cats say what? Cats say meow. All right, this one's funny too. Mummies, don't go bats. Mummies come uh, tightly wrapped from their tombs. While witches ride brooms, not vampires. And then so vampires are the ones that go bats. They turn into bats. Mm. All right, and then neighbors don't give out those got food. They give out what for treats? Candy, yeah. That is coming up pretty soon, isn't it? Oh, now this is next month. Families give thanks for bunny sweets. Now we don't give thanks for sweets. What is it? Stuffing and drumsticks like the last page. So you have turkey, all those good foods. Crazy. Yeah, I think we got them all. Thank you guys. That was a lot. There was a lot of mixed up stuff in that book, right? But it was funny. So this book is called Fall Mixed Up by Bob Rushka. Okay, so before we go, we're gonna sing a couple more songs. And the first one is called The Pumpkin Chant, okay? So it goes like this. You'll say pumpkin, pumpkin. So you'll slap your legs and then clap your hands twice. And then I'm gonna say something that rhymes with pumpkin, okay? Or goes with pumpkin. And then there's a scary part at the end. Not too scary, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it together, okay? All right, here we go. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Mmm, that's yummy. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Mmm, that sounds good too. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin boo! All right, was that scary? I hope it wasn't too scary. That was just a little surprise for you at the end. All right, guys, so let's say goodbye. Um, be sure to tune in for more of our virtual programs on Wednesdays. Um, next week, while we've been talking about Halloween, this story time, next week we'll be having our trick-or-treat bags starting uh, Monday. So if you come in and you're wearing a costume, you can ask for a bag of treats and crafts to do at home um, the week of Halloween. Okay, all right, thanks for coming with us, for coming with me today on this story time trip, and we'll say goodbye. All right, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you. We'll see you next time.